good opportunity though this weekend. I mean, we've, we seem to have had really good results against the teams above us in the league this season at home. And, and actually, conversely, when we come against teams down the bottom end, that's when we seem to have uh, kind of had a bit more problems. Yeah, I think the teams at the bottom end will come and sit in and deny us space. And, and that's where we're good when we, we can play between the lines and get in behind teams. And if you can't do that, then we've got to play a little bit differently. And perhaps we're not as well equipped as, uh, as, we, as we could be. Um, to to cope with that um, it's certainly something that we've tried to address uh, um, but like you say a team above us Wimbledon you would like to think and Stevenage will both come thinking they can pick points up for that they, to do that they're going to have to score goals to do that they're going to have to attack and leave space and that hopefully will allow us to capitalise on it um, there's certainly two games that we can win and having said that there's nobody in this league that we can't beat on our day um, it's just trying to get as many of those days in a row as we can do yeah, I mean, and of course, as you say, Wimbledon, Neil Arley's been there a few years and he, he's always provided a tough opposition for us. And of course, you know, at, at uh, Kings Meadow earlier in the season was a particularly tough game. Yeah, I, I mean, I think there was, again, certain factors in there that, that, that contributed to that. Um, it, was a, it was a difficult day to play football um, and, they, and they approached the game in the right way for the way we were playing at the time. We were coming off the back of, of quite a good run. Um, I think we played Stevenage the week before and... and lost although played quite well um, I think our form just started to turn then you'd like to think now it's settled down again it's now turned the other way um, so hopefully we can um, um, reverse the, the, the scoreline I mean what you touched on there is similar to what Paul touched on after the game against Carlisle which is that perhaps they've been a bit too specialist in the past and it's quite hard to get past that of course because if you're not specialist if you can if you can be the jack of all trades then probably you know you're one of the strongest teams in the league and that's it means you're probably the best equipped financially and all sorts, doesn't it? So um, it's not always as easy to sort the problems out as identifying them, is it? No, I, I think um, you know everybody's got an opinion and, and football is not that complicated a game. Um, everybody can work it out. But um, unfortunately, to find the all-action midfielder that can go box to box, um, two good feet, can shoot, can score, can defend, um, and has got a great attitude and is prepared to come down to the southwest. I think we'll cost an awful lot more money than we've got and if he exists and he wants that then, uh, and we'll do that then please give us a call and we'll go and sign him. Those players don't really exist to us um, so we've got to kind of work around what we, um, how we play and what we do, um, how we approach the game and get players that are specific to that. I think Tiz has done that in the past, you know, a lot of players made their debuts towards the end of the season um, in, a, in games that where there's, there's no pressure situations, but that's not the place that we want to be, and certainly something that we're not considering that we're considering at the moment. Um, we want to be in the place where every game is a is a pressure game because it's it's carrying us towards the playoffs.